Hey guys, Tech Clarification here. Um, this is going to be a video on a um, little bit of how to set up your speakers in general, but also how to set up the Alltech Lansing uh, 251 uh, speaker system. So I'm going to take apart this setup for you guys move it all downstairs and then I will continue my video there so stay tuned hello welcome back to this episode of tech gamification um, when we left off all this was upstairs and now it is very messy in the basement where I will be one showing you how to set it up and plug it into your computer and two, how to optimize the sound for the best performance. So just to get all the heavy components out of the way, then let's start with the subwoofer. So if you can, it's quite a long cable. So if you can come over here. Now it's best to put the subwoofer on the floor. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to leave it like that so that I can plug everything in easily. In this subwoofer, the power cord is plugged directly into the back of the sub, sub, so you don't need to find any cords that might be tangled with anything else. And we're just going to go ahead and plug that into the wall. Just like that. So now that we've got the subwoofer plugged in, let's do the monitor and the power cord for the PC. So, I'm just going to grab my monitor here and move it just like this so that you can see it. See so when I lay it down so you can see it a little better. So, there's the monitor. And then, power cord for the monitor, VGA cable. If you have a high end gaming PC like this, I recommend using a DVI or HDMI, not VGA and the power cord for the computer. So let's plug the power cord for the computer into the power bar, plug the cord into the back of the machine. It only goes one way and your power supply might either be on the top of the machine or on the bottom, dependent on your case. Um, this VGA cable goes into the back of the monitor. Um, my VGA port is right over here. It's the one in blue usually. And it's only got one way that it goes. You can see it's longer on this side and shorter on this side. So you just have to match those to the monitor and screw them in, which takes a little bit of time. So now that we got that plugged in, do the last power cord which is the monitor power you plug that into the monitor again it only goes in one way and this into the power bar so now that that's now that all the power is set up I just want to show you this little adapter here because this is a this is one of those high-end graphic uh, gaming video cards. So you can see it takes up two slots. It's got two DVI ports. And you might be wondering, well, how do I plug in my VGA cable? Because if you try and plug this in, it doesn't, doesn't go in. So usually with, with this graphics card, at least, then they give you an adapter, which is DVI to VGA. So you can plug in the VGA into the VGA side and just plug that into, sorry, wrong way. Again, this only goes one way. Make sure that the line over here matches the line on the graphics card. It's kind of hard to see, but it kind of goes in like that. You can see that. And just plug it in like that. Again, if you have time, try and screw it in and screw these ones in. Even if you just do one, then that's fine. Just to make sure it doesn't fall out during use. So now that we got the monitor set up and this is all ready, let's 
do the last thing that will allow you to interact with your computer, which is the mouse, keyboard, and mouse. So I'm just going to put these keyboard there, it's here, and they just go into the USB port on the back of your machine. Please note that the um, the the USB, if you haven't ever used it, it does have a plastic thing in there, so it only goes in one way. So you want to match it to the one in the PC so that it fits in snugly. So last thing is we have to connect the subwoofer to the computer. Now I'm going to use the motherboard integrated sound, but if you have a sound card, the it's the same principles. So the green one is for the left and right front speakers, and it's normally it normally goes into the green outlet. And here you can see that it says front. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, it's really small. So that just plugs in like that. Make sure it goes in all the way. It's got. The yellow one, which I believe is the center and the base speaker. On this motherboard, it's an orange plug, but um, it's usually a light color. And the black one is for the rear speakers, so you just plug it in like that. So off camera, I decided to put the right, spe right rear speaker over there and the left rear speaker over here. So cameraman, if we could zoom in here. I just want to note that the you might have some questions about where to put the right and left speaker in the back. If you're facing the monitor, it's on your left and right side, as opposed to if you're facing the speakers. And you can have them wider than your ear, but you preferably want them pointing towards your ear. So I guess next we'll plug in the front speakers. So here's my front, left front speaker, center and right front. So let's start with the left front. So if you could just come over here. So I'm just gonna unwrap the cord a little. I'm just gonna put it on the left side of the monitor for now. No real orientation. And we can adjust these a little bit later. Um, for this particular sound system, the right one has all the buttons on it. It's got a power button, volume overall, surround and center volume as individual dials. So that's why the cord is a little bit thicker compared to the other ones. So it goes on the right side. And finally, the center speaker, which you can wall mount as the... Um, for this one, the center speaker, as well as the rear speakers, are all wall mountable. If you have an LCD panel like this, and you can't really put the this, this center on top of it, I recommend putting it, either wall mounting it behind, like this, or putting it down here, and then you can tilt it upwards to the loop. So, Next, I guess we'll connect these speakers. So this one's really easy to connect. It's got, they're all color coded and they only fit in one port. Cause you can see the knobs here, there's rubber parts that stick out. They're different between the two cords. So this one has one knob and this one has two. So the left rear goes in like that. Make sure it's pushed in all the way so that there's no sound that is incorrect or missing. So that's the left, that's the rear ones. Here's the right front. Quite a thick cable compared to the other ones, as you can see. Here is the left front. It's got two that go in like that. No, it's not quite in. Okay, like that. And finally, the center, which has a nice analog cable that you just plug in like such.